collecting seeds becomes so addictive. This is the evening. I've had my meal. And I just came out for a little fresh air. And I come across these daisies. These oxide daisies. And they're ripe. You can see the seeds are popping out beautifully. I don't know if maybe the too much light. So I'm just, the dogs are all here. So I'm collecting them in my shirt front, all these daisies. And I'm going to spread them around in another location. But collecting seeds is like this. It just gets completely addictive. And it's kind of nice in the evening. Everybody hangs out with me in some long grass in an aspect of the garden. But uh, I just am crazy loony about collecting seeds. So I'll spread these all. See, these are all ripe. You just have to, if you press your thumb, it just loosens them. And there they're all ripe. You can see their silver gray stripes of the ripe seeds. So I'm filling my, the front of my shirt with daisies. And see, look, I was gonna walk to spread them. Spot another one, absolutely perfectly ripe for the plucking. And then more here, perfectly ripe for the plucking. It's just completely addictive. You know, kind of like the, that plastic wrap that is made out of bubble wrap. When you're popping it with your fingers, you just can't stop popping it. It's the same thing with collecting seeds. I just can't stop collecting seeds. And there's Bear in the flower bed. What are you doing in there, Bear? You're bold. Yeah, you're bold. But you can see, like, right here, there's three. Three heads, absolutely ripe. Whoops. So, I'm just addicted to plucking seeds to bring to another location. And there you can see bluebells are ripe. And the columbine... Whoops, Brindle's just sent them all dancing. The columbine is ripe. So there's lots of things that are ripe at the moment for seed collection. I've emptied my t-shirt into this bucket and you just press it. You see all the seeds come free. Here's one. This one's slightly underripe, but there's still ripe seeds in it. So you just do that. Every time you come across one, it's the pressure of your thumb. There you go. And see all those gray. Let me see if I can do this. Zoom in. Get a nice one. Now that, just press it like that. And there you can see all the ripe seeds. They're kind of black and white stripes. Are you seeing what I'm doing? So it's press. Oh, I'm being loved by love bug cat here. scratch me because I'm not paying attention to you. So it's very easy to collect seeds. It just takes a little time. And if you get addicted to it like me, you then have a cat who wants to help you but doesn't know how to because they don't have an opposable thumb to squish the seeds out. Look, push it off, off, off the table. But it's so, so easy. Now he wants to get his tail involved. Honestly, you guys, 
can't let a woman enjoy her seed collecting. But it's so, it's great exercise for the thumb, by the way. You know, different from scrolling past information online. This is my thumb exercise. With a cat accompanying me and dogs in various places. Fascinating beetle. It's in my collecting bucket for daisies. An interesting looking ladybird in my collecting bucket for seeds. Don't know what kind of ladybird it is. There's a very interesting other bug. In my collecting bucket. He's got racing stripes. This chap's climbing the edge. And then I have this one here. Ooh, tickles. Here's another interesting beetle, or bug. It's got the most amazing antennae, look at that. He's got green legs and a black body and giant antennae, giant fat antennae. I can't even feel him on my skin. Oh, he's seriously cool looking. What an extraordinary looking beast.